Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Patrick here. I took way too long off. Uh, mainly finishing up finals, focusing on myself for a bit, uh, and actually planning new content for the channel because I, uh, as much as I love doing reactions, I think I need to I need to portray myself in a more accurate way. I feel like me just doing reactions is kind of is one holding back my personality on on screen and it's just so basically it's just not you know the viewers you guys you, I'm just not giving you all I can give you um, you know there's a lot more to contribute to in life than just k-pop and k-pop reactions uh, even though I do my best to try to make them you know like productive or talk about things that aren't talked about in all reactions anyway we're gonna do Chunga stay tonight the music video um, I had one particular person reach out to me on Instagram and just messaged me, uh, but I've also seen many other comments uh, telling me to react to Chunga. They're from Stone Entertainment. Pretty sure I've seen some other groups before that are also from Stone, but I feel like that was so far away or so long ago that you know it's kind of a fresh start. I don't know the members, but I would be more than happy to also follow up with uh, you know some kind of guide or. You know, obviously some some of them are unhelpful or whatever. They make them funny, but uh, yeah, anything, anything, guys, you guys want to suggest, you can definitely message me uh, in the comments or on Instagram. I'll always leave my Instagram in the video before I do the reaction. But yeah, Chunga stay tonight. I don't know how many members or their overall concepts that they go for or anything, but let's see what stands out. Something Pandora. I'm already lost. The visuals are super cool so far though. Very cinematic, not traditionally K-pop. I was also not expecting kind of a Asian or Oriental inspiration from the beginning. It's kind of like a blossoming flower too, that choreo right there. Hey, yo, I just realized, here, hold on, hold on, I'll, I'll keep that in the back of my head for a sec. Oh, okay, all right, that's what I was just wondering. I was wondering if she was a soloist. Okay, so it's not a group at all. Okay, so I'm assuming that's also her name. Hey, that is an interesting progression right there. It's uh, even though it's building up, her her vocals are, are calm in a way. Okay, until this part, obviously. Even the drop too is kind of a, a bare bones. It's not like a hit in your face, you know. Ooh, some tutting in there too. Dang, I was not expecting this. See, I literally went in blind. I was thinking it might have been a group, but I'm glad it's a soloist because honestly, I think that's the one thing that K-pop other than Psy kind of blowing up on his video. That's like one thing K-pop should keep focusing on is really building out the more successful soloists. Ooh, dude, the visuals are crazy too. It's really nice to watch different entertainment groups because they all have a different approach on how they want to stylize their videography. Like, I'm mostly are more so compared to other K-pop uh, entertainment groups is I, I feel like more of a cinematic feel in the music video. Even the bars, the black bars at the top and bottom. Mm, I love the drop, honestly. I like that it's so confident and bold, but it's not this uh, like overly energized, overly charged sound, which is really common in K-pop. And obviously it fits the genre. It's not, you know, it's done for, for a reason. Ooh, the choreo, it's so smooth. Ay. Ay, ay. The choreo is definitely well varied as well. It's not, it doesn't feel repetitive so far. But then again, I would say that's the whole song. Ooh, a bridge, okay. Okay.
Hey, and then yeah, see another transition into kind of a muted part. I like it though. I really like that um, contrast. Ooh, I wonder what her her background is, uh, entertainment wise. I definitely want to find out. Oh, the cinematography is really getting me in this one. Hey, hey, that's my favorite dance move for sure. I'm pretty sure that's like the point dance move. Ooh. Dang. Yeah, the sets were really cool. All right. Yeah. As always, you know, they go by super quick when I react. Um, so, yeah. Clearly, I didn't know anything about Shunga because I was sort of expecting a group. But it was a soloist. And that made me very excited. Uh, you know, there's obviously a lot to learn about the music's direction, um, how much say she has on the music. Um, for example, Idan from Pentagon, or he, you know, formerly from Pentagon, it's kind of a reason he left a group, kind of terminated his contract, was just, you know, I hadn't even realized that it was in him, that, you know, he, obviously he's an artist, but he just didn't feel his artisanal craft coming out enough being in a group. And so it's really cool that he's uh, signed with Sai now. And Huna is also signed, I believe. I don't know. That's what I last heard. I have no idea now. But anyway, the point is, when it comes to a soloist, I, I just, you know, it's, it's obviously easier and there's a clearer path that's possible with your own artistic approach compared to a group. And honestly, I think that's what you need to be a successful solo artist uh, within the music industry, not just K-pop. You need to have your own flair, personality, uh, stylistic choices in the music, stage presence, all of that. Uh, clearly, I think Chunga has that. And, you know, sometimes in K-pop, it's honestly hard to tell what is the personal taste of the person, the artist, or what's kind of been, what they've been working with after they've gotten into the industry. Just because, you know, K-pop idols work so hard. Um, it's... It's generally, especially now, it's, it's pretty hard to just kind of see which is the truthful direction just because they, you know, they just, they kind of make it transparent at this point. They're, they're pretty much, whatever they're assigned or working towards, they pretty well can accomplish it. And uh, most of the time it doesn't come off corny or done poorly or not done with enough hard work. But yeah. So I'll definitely check out more of Chunga. Like I said, uh, uh, hopefully I can look up a guide or you know someone down below can also leave one that's, you know, one they recommend. But yeah, this is a good start to making more videos on the channel. And like I said, I, uh, you know, I really appreciate everyone watching and I think it was good for me to take some time just to plan new content because, you know, like I said, you know, music even, as big as it is, it's only one part of the world and I'd really just like to do my best to kind of, you know, just show off different things, uh, get people interested in, in a lot of different topics. So I hope, you know, some people will stick around for that. Who knows? We will see. But yeah, uh, thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day, night, evening. You know how it goes. See you later. Hey, you like that intro music? Check out my boy Aspen in his SoundCloud. He's got them fire beats.